What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Tay. So, as y'all may know, Nay's video dropped yesterday. I watched it twice, but also, like, mentally, I just took a break because I, look, I woke up and the news was just very, like, sad. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, F this out for a day. I still promoted it, though, but, yeah, vibes were not giving <laughs> early today. Um, so, I hope y'all took, a, you know, just took some time to relax, you know, say you love your loved ones, tell them you love them, feel me? Benet's movie was a vibe, y'all. I honestly enjoy a movie that can make me laugh one minute, cry, you know, really just feel like it was a good tale movie. At the end, I was emotional for like the last 20 minutes. It was very emotional. Nay did her big one. Y'all know in the movie, she is Rhea. I will say this before I even start saying anything. If you have not watched it, go watch it. It's on Peacock. You just need to like have an account. Like you don't need to pay for anything. You just need to have an account. It's a free movie. Go tune in. Now, if you don't want ads at the beginning, then that's when you got to pay for it. But let's get into the movie. Um, Some of the parts I remember. Let me tell y'all first. The announcer referee dude, his lines was crazy fire. This dude was funny, bro. I think my favorite line from him had to be the $20 line. You see that dude over there? He owe me 20 not twenty dollars, twenty cent, bro. If you don't go somewhere with yo, <laughs> that's two dimes. Go somewhere, bro. Go somewhere. I'm saying like twenty thousand. Cause when he said no, not twenty thousand, I'm like, oh, twenty thousand. Bro, I was talking about twenty cent. Like chill on him, man. Chill on him. And then it was a part where he was like, we accept EBTs, we accept food stamps. <laughs> I was like, make your money, bro. It was funny the whole time, cause. Even when he was like, what's your name? Uh, he's like, yeah, what's your name? So, Nay was Rhea in the movie. So, I'm going to try to remember to call her Rhea. She's like, it's Rhea. Oh, yeah, he was like, Rhea about to end her tell up in the hospital. I was weak. He called her baby. I'm sorry. I was like, yo, you you, you funny. You real funny. There was one scene where I would have just loved to see Armand's reaction. Because y'all know he's, like, dramatic. Like, it's he's funny dramatic. I can see him say, no. <laughs> Because y'all know, like, they was up early watching that movie. And she still had a watching party later on that day. So, but yeah. Y'all know the part when her and Tugger was in bed. But honestly, it wasn't that bad. We, I've seen some crazy love scenes. And I'm like, oh, sh Look, it, it won't know Fifty Shades type love scene. And if you've ever seen Scandal, it definitely wasn't a Scandal love scene. So, I feel like it was just a little bit of kissing. I'm like, okay, we can do that. You know. Because <laughs> some scenes, I'd be like, oh, my God. It's the scenes that's, like, weird to watch with your mama type scenes. You feel me? Um, and it's crazy. Like, I, I relate to this a little bit. Not in terms of, like, boxing and stuff. But, like, my brother and I used to wrestle. Like, basically, Real was talking to Tug. And he was like, so how would you become a, like, you know, get into the boxing if you didn't grow up with your granddad or your dad? And she was like, I watched it on TV one day. That's crazy because I did. I tuned into UFC one day. And I tuned into, I liked UFC because it was real. But I also watched WWE. And me and my brother would be doing WWE moves on each other, jumping off couches. And my mom hated it. Mind y'all, he was like, he was younger than me, but he was bigger than me. So me and my brother would always, I mean, choke slams like, yeah, no. It, <laughs> and we had bump beds at one point. So y'all can just imagine us doing some of the craziest stuff. And I don't think my parents really approved of it. Yeah, but it was fun. Like, it is definitely a way to get your anger out. I'm just saying. And it was, okay, it was later on in the movie. It was a cute scene with Rhea and Tugga. And she was like, well, write it down so you don't forget it. I feel like in some ways this character really did relate to Nay. You know, her funniness. You know, her determination. I like, I love the energy. I'm like, okay, Nay sort of had, like, she was able to relate to this character a lot more. Uh, we saw her granddad had cancer. My thing is, dude didn't even die of cancer. He died because uh, bro bro shot him. And I was like, I'm not effing with this. Life. And I like how in this movie you really had to understand forgiveness. The only storyline I really wanted to know more about is bro, bro. Like, you left them on the patio, but did Joe tell ever get caught? Did you, like, run away? But we knew you weren't about to kill them. <laughs> we knew it. It's okay. Yeah, okay. At the beginning of the movie, this part sent me. Because I'm just jumping around to, like, different parts of the movie I enjoyed. So, it was them seeing a granddad for the first time. Mind you, they said Paul. I've never called my granddad Paul. They've always been my granddads. But yeah, so it's her, her mom, Rhea, her mom, and her granddad, right? And so <laughs> she's talking about, the mom's talking about, excuse her. She just woke up. She's a little cranky. That part sent me. I'm like, girl, bye. 
<laughs> she don't want to be there up in the country. Mind you, like, I don't think y'all understand. You be having to, like, for us, like, my grandparents grew up in, like, literally no stores around, okay? Closest store is, like, a convenience store. That's it. It's grass. They stay back in the cut. Your signal, iffy. Um, Like, the house was, like, it was a trailer, so you ain't about to do much. So we outside from, like, morning. You know, you come in, you eat, and then you, like... That was where we stayed. Like that's where I grew up at. Like when my mom was sending me to my grandparents for the summer, it was usually we were outside doing something because the inside just wasn't a move. Um, and we saw pops rolling up. I was like, okay, pops rolling up. But now that anybody do, you know, the little roll up. So I ain't even mad at that. And, okay, another part that really sent me. So Rhea was in the store uh, in the like bakery. She had just finished talking to Tugger, right? And it was like the bagel and coffee. She's like, her mom's talking about Rhea, come on. I'm like, girl, I know you ain't about to leave that bagel and coffee. <laughs> like, ma'am, you, you didn't get your stuff yet. So obviously, where is she going? Where is she going? Like, <laughs> like I said, it was a cute movie. Even the conversation she had with her granddad, I do feel like um, some of the best conversations come from your grandparents, you know, because they've experienced life. They've experienced more life than your parents. And, you know, at the same time, one, they're not trying to be your friend. But they want you to understand and they really want to give you like some good advice. I've gotten some of the best advice from my grandparents and just like some of the really stories. I mean, I'm always down to listen to a story from my grandparents because they're good stories. I'll be like tuned in, like real life tuned in. Like I said, they always have good wisdom to spit. So I'm always down to listen to the grandparents. I love how confident Rhea was going into that fight against all girl. Can't, what was her name? It wasn't Crush. What was her name? You know, old girl that she faced twice in the movie. That was funny because I'm like, Rhea, you about to get your tail knocked down. When she had on the blue. I like, don't do it. Rhea, don't do it. Rhea done got her tail knocked out. Like, girl. But it's okay because she went back and beat her tail. And I was like, period. That's never giving up. Yeah. So then we had the downhill part of the movie. Y'all know it's always that light part that's just sad. When Rhea found out, Tugger was like, look. Like, I feel like at least he was honest, though. You know, he said what it was. He said, hey, that's one thing Tugger is. He was real the whole movie. Yeah, I got a daughter. She's five. Now, that was cute at the end. Seeing Rhea and Tugger with the little girl I was like oh my I was like oh this is so cute like stop playing that was very very cute and the fact that Nate can relate to that now is like crazy I'm like dang what y'all trying to do this movie definitely is her you know she trying to make her move in the acting community and then in the movie it's her trying to make her way through this boxing um it's crazy I it's crazy uh Rhea's height difference the whole movie sent me like we know Nate is short so Seeing the height difference in the whole movie, <laughs> I'm like, nay, you are so short, but it's so cute. I love her shortness, y'all. But like I said, it was the movie was cute, family oriented. It was not that long. Well, it was like one hour and thirty five minutes. It was a good time, um, because my mom always talking about if it's longer than two hours or closer to the two hour mark, I cannot watch it. This movie was a good movie. Um, I definitely recommend ten out of ten. The counts was fast. I didn't know they count that fast. One, two, three, four. I'm like, dang. Like, you know, I thought it was like a slow, like, put your hand up, down. Maybe because I watched WWE and they only go to three. But yeah, Rhea did only get knocked out like once from what we could see. I was like, okay, girl. She didn't get one bruise, but she did her thing. I Like I told you, I loved the movie. I'm about to go watch it again today. Uh, It was great. It's going to make you laugh. It's going to make you cry. You're going to, I like how you can really like get, for the main characters, you're going to definitely get to know them. It was a good movie. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I enjoyed it. And that's all I got for y'all today. Deuces.